Hi everyone, today is lesson five of module six. Our I can statement for today is I can compose arrays from rows and columns and count to find the total using objects. So today you're gonna need 12 objects. That could be toys, beans, um, little chips, anything that you have in your house, like a spoon, anything you can use to put into groups, but you have to make sure that that's okay with your parent or aunt, uncle, grandma, whoever is watching you while you do this video. All right, well, let's get started. So for today, we're gonna do happy counting again, but today it's gonna be counting by tens. So we're gonna start at 60, and you're first gonna count up by tens, and then you're gonna count down by tens, you're going to have an adult or brother or sister or somebody that can help you by pointing up or down so you know which way to count. So let's look at this picture. It says, our question says, how many bears are in each group? So I want you to look at this picture and how many bears do you see in each group? Good, I see three bears in each group. How many groups are there? Good, I see two groups. One over on the left and one on the right. Now, how many bears are there all together? You can count like one, two, three, four, five, six, or you can do your repeated addition sentence. In this case, you would only need to just do a regular addition sentence, so it would be three, plus three equals, good, six. Now I want you to arrange these groups of three into rows of three instead. A row goes this way, so from side to side. So make sure they're in a straight line across. So they want you to put them in a row of three. So each row needs to have three bears in it. So this is when you're going to need to use six of your objects, and you're going to put them in a row of three. I want you to pause this video, and I want you to try that at home. If we were at school, we'd be able to do it together, but I will show you after you try and do this on your own. So you're going to have three bears in a row, and then once you're ready, you can play this video again, and I will show you my answer. Good, we here is your answer, so check that with you. If you got that right, give yourself a nice kiss on the brain, because you did awesome. Our question asks, what do you notice about the rectangular array we just created? So we're gonna look at this, and what do we notice? Remember, this is our column, I mean, this is our row, and this is our. And these are gonna be columns up and down. We're gonna learn about that in a little bit. So how many rows do we have? Good, we have two rows. How many col or how many bears are in each row? Good, three. So let's see what our questions ask. How many bears are in each row? Good, we said there's three bears in each row. And how many rows are there? We said one, two, two rows. Now, how many bears are there all together? Good, six. You can do three plus three, or you can count the bears for this problem. Now, it says, what if we want to arrange them into two columns of three? Remember, columns are groups that go up or down and down. So you're gonna use your objects that you have home at home, and I want you to put them into two columns. So remember, you're gonna put them in two columns like this, a straight line. You're gonna use just the six bears or objects that you have right now. I'm gonna pause the video, and when you're ready, you can play it, and I will show you the answer. Good, how many columns do you see in this picture? Good, I see two columns, just like they asked. How many bears are in each of our columns? Good, there are three bears in each column. If you got that right, give it a silent cheer. Nice job. So, 
How many bears are there all together in this picture? Good, there's still six. There's two columns of three bears. Now, is there another way that we can group these bears? We did them first in two groups of three. Then we did two columns of three, or two rows of three, and then two columns of three. What's another way we can group these? Good. What if we did, you organize your group, your bears, into three groups of two? Go ahead and give that a try. Pause this video, and then when you're ready, you can replay it, and I will show you the answer. Good. Here's my answer. So how many rows do I have? Good. I have three rows. And how many bears are in each of my row? Good, two bears. So we have three rows of two bears. Well, let's count to see how many there are all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six bears all together. Now I want you to try this one. You're going to use all 12 of your objects, and I want you to put them into equal groups. A hint is you could put them in groups of two. Try that way, and then I'm going to show you up on my board how I could do that to help you. If you can think of another way, I would love for you to try that way. Take a picture of it and send it to either me or Miss Vu so we can see the hard work that you're doing. So I'm going to zoom out so I can show you how to put the 12 beans into groups of two. So first I'm going to draw my 12 beans. And now I'm going to group them into groups of two. Does each group have two? Yeah, each group has two, and I have 12 beans all together. There are at least three other ways that this problem can be solved. I want you to try a different way and send a picture to me. If you need help, feel free to call me and I'm happy to help you for another way. I'm going to zoom out so you can see what our next problem is because it is our application problem. I'm going to erase my board. Remember, what's, what do we do before we start our application problem? Good, we have our RDW, our read, draw, and write checklist. So let's read our problem. It says, Mrs. White is in line at the bank. There are four win teller windows and three people standing in line at each window. Part A asks us to draw an array to show the people in line at the bank. Then part B says write the total number of people. So I'm going to show you our problem up here. We read our problem, so I'm going to check that off. I'm going to put a little, a little mark up top so I know that there's going to be four groups. So one, two, three, four, because they told us there's four different windows. So that way I remember to put them in each column. They said at each window, there are three people. So if we're at our first window, I'm going to draw my three people. So that's my first window. Now I'm going to go to my second window. There's still three people at this window. I'm 
gonna go to my third window. I'm gonna fix that one so it's lined up with this. And now I'm gonna go to my fourth window and there's still three people. So I have my four different windows, which are my four different columns. And in each column, there are three people. So how many, are, I'm gonna write my repeated addition sentence good, to help me, because I already drew my array. How many are in this column? Good, three. How many are in this one? Good, three. How many are in this one? Good, three. And how many are in this one? Good, three. So we're gonna do three plus three, four, five, six, plus three, seven, eight, nine, plus three, 10, 11, 12. How many do we have all together? Good, 12. There are 12 people. Remember, you can also do this where you combine your pieces. So what's three plus three? Good, six. And you can combine this one, what's three plus three? Good, six. So six plus six equals? Good, 12. So we still get the same answer. It's a different way of doing it a little faster. So now I'm going to write my, we read our problem, we drew our array, we wrote our number sentence, and now we have to write our word sentence. So we're gonna do, there are 12 people in line at the bank. Remember to put your period and then put it in our cloud and we wrote our problem again. So there is our application problem all solved. I'm going to go through our problem set quickly for you. Number one says circle groups of four and then you're going to draw the triangles into two equal groups shown on these lines on the right. Number two, you're gonna circle groups of two for the smiley faces. And then they want you to redraw the groups of two as rows, which are this way, and columns, which are up and down. Number three is you're gonna circle groups of three for the hearts, and they want you to redraw the groups of three as rows, which are this way, in columns, which are this way, up and down. For four, they want you to count the objects in the arrays from left to right by rows and by columns. As you count, circle the rows and then the columns. So you're going to do that for part A and for part B. And then they want you in number five to redraw the circles and stars as columns of two. Number six and seven, these are a little tricky, so if you need some help from an adult, that's okay. Number six says draw an array with five triangles, and number seven so says draw a different array using 15 triangles. So that's all that we have for today. I know you guys are gonna do awesome work, and make sure you send us those pictures of your work so you can get a chance to enter into the drawing for a $25 gift card to Price Chopper. Um, anyone who, the top three students who do the most work on one day, they get entered. So make sure you're sharing us with us, Miss Boo and I, what you're doing. We're super proud of you and we miss you. Bye.